Welcome. If you are the owner or representative of a dance hall within the state of Texas, and if your building meets certain criteria, you may be eligible to apply for a preservation fund grant from Texas Dance Hall Preservation. We've been making small grants to dance halls since 2016. These grants are designed to pay for minor repairs or for a portion of a larger project. We also hope that this program will help dance hall owners and representatives learn how to successfully apply for grants so that they can apply for funding from other organizations as well. I'm Steph McDougall, one of the founders of Texas Dance Hall Preservation. In this presentation, I'll explain where to find application materials and then we'll walk through the application itself. The application contains complete instructions, including information about who can apply, what qualifies as a dance hall for the purposes of this grant program, what projects are eligible for grant funding, when and how to submit an application, what to include with an application, and how the application will be reviewed and scored by Texas Dance Hall Preservation, plus, how we determine which projects to fund and how much money to award. If you receive a grant, you'll need to document the repair project with before, during, and after photographs. You'll need those in order to submit a final report after your project is completed. This presentation includes the web addresses of some websites that we are providing here for your reference. These web addresses were correct when we created this presentation, but if you find that these web addresses have changed or no longer work when you view this presentation, please let us know. If you have not already done so, let's begin by downloading a copy of the grant application from the Texas Dance Hall Preservation website at texasdancehall.org. You can find our website by entering Texas Dance Hall Preservation in any internet search engine, such as Google, or navigate to www.texasdancehall.org. Once you've found our website, open the home page. There are two ways to get to the Preservation Fund Grants webpage. The first option is to place your cursor over four hall owners in the red toolbar. And when a blue box pops up, as shown in this screenshot, click on that first blue bar for Preservation Fund Grants. Or you can click on four hall owners in the red toolbar, which will take you to this page, and then click on that first item, I need a grant to fund repairs. Either of those options will bring you to the Preservation Fund Grants page. The red text at the bottom contains a hyperlink to the application and instructions. That's all in a single PDF document. PDF stands for Portable Document Format. That means that the document's formatting is preserved regardless of the device you use to open it. So the document looks the same on a Windows PC, a Mac computer, an iPad or tablet, or even your smartphone. In order to open a PDF, you will need to have Adobe Acrobat Reader or another PDF viewer downloaded to your device. Fortunately, many devices today come with Acrobat Reader installed as standard equipment. But if you do need it, the application is free and can be downloaded for any device at get.adobe.com reader. If you don't have a device that allows you to view a PDF, don't worry. You can request a paper copy of the application to be mailed to you by calling Texas Dance Hall Preservation at 512-400 4315. In order to apply for a preservation fund grant, your organization must be a nonprofit. 
That's an internal revenue service requirement because Texas Dance Hall Preservation is a nonprofit and we use tax deductible charitable contributions to fund this grant program. While most grants are only available to nonprofit organizations for that reason, some grants for historic preservation are not limited to nonprofits. We will publicize those grant opportunities when they become available. Also, a few other types of financial assistance are available to for-profit halls, including federal and state tax credits for historic preservation. For more information, visit texasdancehall.org and click on For Hall Owners. In addition to being a nonprofit organization, applicants to the Preservation Fund grant program must have a current tax exempt status determination letter from the IRS. If your organization's tax exempt status has been revoked, you'll need to reestablish that before you apply. Finally, this program is open to organizations that either own or lease a dance hall. If your organization leases the hall, make sure you have the owner's approval before you make any changes or repairs. In addition to those organizational requirements for eligibility, your building must also meet these criteria in order to be considered a dance hall for the purposes of this grant program. First, the building must have been used for community dances at some point in its history. While the building is not required to be currently in use for dancing, we prefer to award grants to halls that are available for use by the community such as for weddings or events, rather than to buildings that are being used for storage or other non-public functions. A dance hall for the purposes of this grant program may be a freestanding building, but it may also be part of a larger building. For example, it is not unusual for a dance hall to be located on the second floor of a building, particularly but not always, in downtown or urban areas. In that case, only the second floor space would be considered the dance hall. Regardless of where it's located, and even if it's not being used for dances today, the hall must still include a dedicated dance floor and a stage or other designated area where bands or musical artists would play. The hall may include a bar, kitchen, and eating area, but its primary use must have been as a dance hall or community hall. It cannot have been a restaurant or bar that also had a dance floor. Finally, the hall must be largely intact. It cannot be a ruin or partially destroyed. For example, if a dance hall catches fire and burns down, this grant program could not be used to help rebuild. So, what kinds of projects can be funded by this grant? If you know that your building needs help, but you're not sure what to do, you might want a building professional, such as an architect or a structural engineer, to evaluate your hall's condition and make recommendations for potential improvements. This grant program can be used for projects like that. If you already know what your building needs, you can apply for a grant to make a repair or to update your building in some way. However, any work must meet the Secretary of the Interior's standards for the treatment of historic properties. You can look that up online and Texas Dance Hall Preservation can consult with you in advance of your application to help you make sure that your project would qualify. Basically, your project should repair rather than replace historic materials and character defining features of your building. Some of the projects 
the Texas Dance Hall Preservation has funded in the past include a new roof, repairs to exterior siding, doors, and windows, updates to the electrical system, repairing and refinishing the dance floor, fixing roof leaks or other types of water infiltration and the damage that has caused, updates to restrooms to make them handicapped accessible, and plumbing repairs caused by freezing temperatures. You may apply for a grant to help with other types of projects as well. If you have questions about whether your project could be funded by this grant program, please let us know. Also, please note that this grant, like most grants, will not pay for work which already has been completed. So be sure to apply in plenty of time to receive our response before you begin your project. If you have been awarded a grant, you must begin work within three months and finish within 12 months. You may not apply for another grant until your previous grant funded project is completed and you have submitted your final report. Of course, you'll want to know how much money you can request. This program makes small grants and is not intended to fully fund building projects. We hope that by providing a first grant or seed grant, others will be encouraged to also support your project. If your hall is a current member of Texas Dance Hall Preservation, you are eligible to apply for up to $5,000 in a single grant application. Non-member halls may request up to $2,500. Your hall can become a member of Texas Dance Hall Preservation by going to our website, clicking on Get Involved, and then Become a Member. Choose the organizational membership, and please remember to select Annual Renewal to renew your membership automatically each year so that you will always be eligible for the higher grant amount. With that said, your organization must match the grant amount dollar for dollar. That may mean that your grant request is less than those maximum amounts. For example, if your project is estimated to cost $6,000, you could only apply for a grant of $3,000, even if your hall is a member of Texas Dance Hall Preservation. Also, your grant request and project budget must be based on written quotes or estimates from the contractors or vendors that you plan to use. And your final report must include an invoice and proof of payment or receipt for the actual amount of money you spent. If volunteers or hall members will complete all or a part portion of the project, this grant cannot pay for their labor, but it can be used to pay for materials. In order to be considered for a grant, your application must include the following information. On the next slides, we'll discuss the cover sheet shown here and the other information required for this application including information about your organization and about the project. First, let's complete the cover sheet. Make sure that you provide the correct legal name of the organization that owns the hall. If the organization and the hall have different names, you can add the hall name in parentheses. For example, National Hall in Fort Worth is owned by SPJST Lodge 92. Sometimes those names are used interchangeably for the same building. Texas Dance Hall Preservation will need to contact you during this process. Please provide the name of the president or executive director of the organization, a mailing address for the organization, and a telephone number. We understand that the address and phone number may be for the president or executive director at their home or personal place of business, and that's fine. If someone else is submitting the grant, 
provide their name as the contact person as well as their address and phone number. If the organization has an email address and or a website, please provide that information. We understand that your organization's website may be a Facebook or other social media page, and the email address that you use for your organization may be the personal email address of your board president, board secretary, executive director, or someone else. Finally, we will need the organization's federal tax ID number also known as an EIN. You can find that on the tax-exempt status determination letter that your organization received from the IRS. You will need to send us your most recent financial statements. Please enter the date of those statements here. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Next, please summarize the project for which you're requesting grant funds in just a few sentences. You'll provide a more detailed description elsewhere in the application. Enter the amount of money that you are requesting from the Preservation Grant Fund here. Finally, this cover sheet must be signed by the Board President, Executive Director, or other person with the authority to act on behalf of the organization. Take note of the words here in italics. You are agreeing that if you are awarded a grant, your organization gives permission to Texas Dance Hall Preservation to share your organization's name and photographs of your project on our website for fundraising purposes and in promotional materials. Sharing information about the grants we've made helps us raise money for this grant program. Your application must include the following information about your organization. First, please provide the most recent copy of the IRS determination letter that confirms your organization's tax exempt status and provide the most recent copy of the 990 information return that your organization submitted to the IRS. If you do not have a copy of the tax exempt letter or your organization's 990 filings, you can request copies from the IRS by visiting their website. Your application must also include financial information about your organization. This includes the most recent copies of your organization's income statement, also known as a profit and loss statement, and balance sheet. Most organizations provide these to the board of directors on a regular basis as part of board meetings. If needed, your bookkeeper should be able to provide you with current versions of these documents. We do not need a copy of your bank statement. However, please provide a copy of your organization's annual operating budget. These documents allow us to better understand your organization's financial position and confirm that you have the matching funds on hand that are required for this grant program. Finally, please provide the following information about your organization. A few paragraphs describing the history of your organization, including when it was established. A brief statement describing your organization's goals, purposes, mission, and vision. A list of the organization's board of directors, identifying all officers, and how many times per year your hall is currently being used for events. If your hall is not being used for events or other organizational activities, please tell us whether it is vacant or being used for a passive purpose, such as storage. 
We will also need information about your proposed project. Please provide a detailed written description of the work that you propose to undertake and why it is needed. This description should be supported by clear, well-focused, high-resolution photographs of the conditions that your project seeks to address. You can take these pictures with a camera on your phone or any other type of camera. It can be helpful to see a photograph of the general area where the damage is located, as well as a close-up photo of the damage. If your photographs are too dark or blurry, we may ask you to provide better photos. Please do not take a video of the damage. You are not required to work with an architect, engineer, or contractor. But if you have any documents related to the project that have been provided by a contractor, architect, or engineer, please include them with your application. This may include drawings or sketches of the proposed work, any reports that explain your building's condition and makes recommendations for repairs, as well as written bids or estimates that you have received. Please provide any additional information that may help us understand the proposed project and how it will benefit your organization. In addition to the total project budget, please indicate how much money you are requesting from the Preservation Fund grant program. We will also need to know the other sources of funding for this project and how much money you expect each of those sources to provide. For example, if your project budget is $6,000 and you are requesting $3,000 from Texas Dance Hall Preservation, you might tell us that you have also received $2,000 from your local electric cooperative and have raised the remaining $1,000 through your annual barbecue fundraiser. Keeping in mind that you need to complete all work funded by this grant within one year of receiving a grant award, please provide a project schedule. If the grant funded work is only a portion of a larger project, please describe how you plan to complete the whole thing. Once you've assembled all the information needed for the grant application, you're ready to submit it. Applications may be submitted on paper or electronically. Your application must be postmarked or emailed by the deadline in order for it to be considered during the next grant round. To submit an email application, send all materials to admin at texasdancehall.org, or you can submit your entire application packet through the regular mail to Texas Dance Hall Preservation at this address. Texas Dance Hall Preservation accepts grant applications on a rolling basis throughout the year. We encourage you to submit your application as early as possible in case we have questions or need additional information. We cannot review your grant application until it is complete. Once our executive director has confirmed that your application is complete, they will schedule it for review during the next grant round. Our grants committee reviews applications twice a year, in the spring and in the fall. The spring deadline is March 15th every year and the fall deadline is September 15th. Texas Dance Hall Preservation uses a pre-established scoring system to rank grant applications during each grant round, and we try to make grants to as many applicants as possible. As a result, a successful application may not be fully funded. After your application has been considered and the money available during each grant round has been allocated, our executive director will let you know whether or not you will receive a grant and, if so, how much money you will receive. We will also let you know if grant funds are intended to be applied to a specific part of your project. 
grant recipients will receive a letter and a check. If your request is not funded and you wish to reapply, you can either submit a new application or submit a letter telling us that you want to reuse your existing application. The same deadlines apply whether you are submitting a new or repeat application. All grant recipients are required to submit a final report after their project is completed. So that you have everything you need for the final report, please collect photographs and other documentation that the work was completed. The grant application document includes a form and instructions for your final report. You may submit your final report electronically via email or send paper copies to us in the regular mail. Please remember that you may not apply for another preservation fund grant until you have submitted a final report for your previous grant funded project. Thank you for watching. We hope this will help you become more successful in your grant seeking activities. If you have questions or need more information, please contact us via email at admin at texasdancehall.org or call us at 512-400-4315.